And it, but it's your birthday, right? Yep. So happy birthday, big Thank three, you. big three-year-old. Three years old. You're three years old, cause it's what? What is today? It's your yes. what? Um, cereal. Cereal. And it, but it's your birthday, right? Yep. So happy birthday, big Thank three, you. big three-year-old. So I got him two kinds of sugar cereal. Yep. Which one do you want to have first? Um. That one I figured. This one's got marshmallows in it. Oh my goodness. For one, because Ben already had coffee, he had a meeting this morning. Can I have some of your cereal too? Yeah. I, think, I think I'm gonna have the Lucky Charms. No! Why not? That's the Lucky Charms over there. I'm gonna have that one. It's good for me. Yeah. Oh, I don't know about that, but I'm gonna try the Lucky Charms, okay? That's what I want. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I'm good. Dad, Dad, I did the rainbow. rainbow. You, you got a rainbow too? I do. Oh, okay. Okay, so with Rainier turning three today and it being his birthday, I thought we'd do something a little bit different for today's vlog instead of just showing his birthday because we just did that for Flea. And you guys know how we celebrate birthdays. I'm gonna take him out to lunch. He got to choose his breakfast and he's gonna choose his... Yeah, you! And, and, and I, I, I think I cereal. This is my this morning. <laughs> I thought we would share about his impact on our life as parents and what I'm thinking about now that he's turning three. I hear a lot of people who would go into like the teenage phase because we also have a 17 year old and it feels like we should be done with the toddler phase. And I see how that would be kind of nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I get it. Like Right now, wow, I'm wow. like, huh, birth control. Because like, yeah. if we got pregnant again, I think I'd be like, oh, dang. Even though we're not practicing safe sex responsibly. <laughs> <laughs> but I can totally, I'm like, oh, I get it. Yeah. But on the flip side... You know, I guess like this is the story I wanted to tell and it's kind of a weirder story, but it, it's, it bears a lot of meaning in my life. Uh, almost a decade ago, we were around this large family with like eight and I was just hearing this mom joking. We had four at the time, four small kids. And she was saying like, oh, it's crazy that people stop after two kids because your first two kids, you just screw up. And that's when you really start to figure out parenting. And I was like, whoa. I mean, it was kind of a joke, but I think there was a bit of a truth there. And I want to be careful, like, because I you think... don't screw up the kids. <laughs> I know. It's I more think... like, oh, I was really way more immature with Dove and Eden and Seven and Memory. I don't even <laughs> agree with the premise anymore, you know, that there is a perfect way to do parenting and we're gonna no. find that or that's the goal. But what I have realized is that we are completely different people in how I experienced my first 17 years ago. We've evolved over time. And 
being able to raise a child 14 years later, it's almost a different lifetime for me. Mm -hmm. And I'm really thankful for the experience because I'm experiencing Rainier and his toddlerhood and his baby years and his developmental stages. It's a night and day difference. I feel like I'm able to enjoy him. And be more present with the first, I mean, yeah, we were 20, 21, 22, you know, when we're having our first couple kids. You know, life was sweet back then in its own way. But we were also kind of just surviving. And I mean, we were 21. Figuring things out and not knowing how to figure things out <laughs> at all. But we thought we were figuring things out. <laughs> it's just an opportunity, I think. Um, mm -hmm. And I can see the pros like of not having another kid because if we would have just had our teenagers, I think we would have like transitioned stages and we'd be more in a relaxing mode. And able to like, able to go all in on that phase whereas we're have to split into two and three year old bill <laughs> and 17 year old bill but then there's pros to that too i th i think pros and cons i guess the pros would be it i don't know what are the pros <laughs> well for me i feel like i'm almost given like another chance at yeah. Learning things and trying new things that I wasn't at a place where I was even able to. And I do think it kind of stretches our mind and our emotions maybe more. There are a lot of similarities between a two year old and a 17 year old, and a 39 year old. Yeah, people are people. But to be able to see it in different stages all at once. I do think is a, also a gift. I always want to have a two-year-old in my life. And it may not be my own child, but I just think two-year-olds have so much to teach people if they have the eyes to see, um, to teach me. I've, I just think they're so grounded. They're just like, I am here on earth <laughs> to go back on the birth control train. I see why it'd be nice, and we could get into why we're not, whatever. I can see why it'd be nice to be on birth control and say, Rainier is our last kid, unless some miracle you get pregnant on birth control, I know that happens. But to be able to say, okay, we are officially moving on. <laughs> Yeah. It's kind of nice. Like you can kind of like box that in and be like, I don't know. You know, this year we're both going to be going into our forties. Yeah. We're getting older. And, and I think, I guess people are having kids later, but right. for how long we've been raising kids for two decades about, I can feel the temptation to want to emotionally just like be done with that. And to say like, mm -hmm. Oh, like it'd be so cool to like have a ton more freedom now and not have to go back into that world. I don't know, there's a there's a blessing in in not having that freedom right now too. I mean, I even think of like everything that I'm writing now. I just kind of put these notebooks away. These are the these are the notebooks that I'm using to prompt the different books that I want to write and I just take notes in these. 80% of these are a result of what I see in my toddler. Mm. And there's this like T.S. Eliot quote, I believe, mm. where it says, if we could see our comings and goings, something, something, something. But it's like, if you can see the end of the story, and if you can see the beginning of the story, it gives you a whole new perspective on what's in the, in between in the middle. Mm. So if we, you know, you said, you always want a two year old in your life. I feel like the same thing. It's always beneficial to have senior citizens or older people mm. or the next generation around. Yeah, just different perspectives on life is so valuable to have than your own. So I am really thankful for the role that he has played in our life and that's that's just us, you know. It's so much fun to see our teenagers around a toddler all the time also. I think it keeps them grounded and keeps a sort of reality check around. And it's crazy to think that all of that started three years ago. Hmm. Yeah, that is crazy. So we are going to do what we often do on this channel and, and do a little retrospective and we're going to show you guys 
what it looked like for the last three years of his life. Here you go. Sweetheart! Yes, oh. you're so peaceful. Yes, you are. I love you. Oh. <laughs> Ranger. Rainier. Those are the two names. Rainier, Ranger, Crawford. You guys guessed it. Oh, smile. Oh, oh, good so job, buddy. <laughs> oh, good job. Yay. You did it. Oh, oh, yeah. I love you. And he turned six months old yesterday. Can you believe that? Six months? Oh. He's getting really close to touching it, and he's gotten a couple flicks, but when he gets really close, usually he sees me coming and he pulls his hand back right away. Tooth butter. Can I start? I on top, and I shared it with him. Yum, yum. I've never seen him eat something so good. Oh, look what we discovered. Hey, where are you going though? You can't keep on going. Why don't you come back downstairs with us? Come on. Hey, Rainier. Oh, you have his antler? Ah. Oh. Hey, what do you want to say for your birthday? You want to say, da, 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 da? Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da da da. Hey, hey, okay, okay. You're gonna break the window. <laughs> hey, hey, up. Oh. We are on our way to try and figure out how to get Rainier a birth certificate. This would be his first haircut. Um, That's right. <laughs> We watched the Appalachian Trail and I said, no, we can't have any M&Ms. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. 
Happy New